Good morning, and I have a little girl on my head. She wanted to. She just wanted to be up there. Yeah. And Laura and George are getting ready to leave, but before they do, they are sharing some bounty with us. We have some ro white roasted chickpeas we found at the food salvage store for 49 cents. I bought them thinking they were garbanzo beans, which they are, but and we would cook them. But they're roasted, and you're not. You're just supposed to eat them uncooked. So. Anyway, we're trying that and we're sharing it, and bye. I'm very bye, interesting. Bye, bye, bye. And all the kids are enjoying them. And I'm surprised that bye, everyone bye. likes them. This is good. This isn't looking good. I think we, we have a few stowaways in the vehicle. Everyone wants to go to Fairway, and look at this. I mean, Fairway Inn has never been so interesting. Come on, out. Evict. Evict. John, get out. John, John. Um, can I hold your trunk? <laughs> Leave it open. We are missing Mary. <laughs> Mary's Mary. right there. She's hiding. Go long, farewell. Out. Goodbye. And the car isn't even all that full. I know. It doesn't look like that much in the car, but it looks like a lot on the table. Are you doing more? Are you stopping at more thrift stores? Hey, Mary. Laura is checking out her list of thrift stores to go to. Any good ones? I'm debating how many we can reasonably stop at today. Um, oh, what do you want to see the list? It's a long list. We didn't go to any. We didn't go to all of them. What do we get to first, Syracuse or Rochester? Syracuse. Syracuse. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go to these ones in Syracuse, and if we're making really good time, then we can go. To Hi, Lenny. I have three in Rochester. Thrifty shopper. Hi. Two Salvation Armies in Syracuse, Goodwill, and another thrifty shopper. And then in Rochester, we have a Goodwill and Amvets and a Salvation. Army. Okay, sounds like fun. So, um, yes, yes. Um, we hope so. I'm kind of thrift stored out at this point, but it does make a good rest stop. I mean, we could stop at a rest area or we could stop at a thrift store, and the thrift store can make me money and the rest area can't. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, unless you, yeah, unless you find some pennies on the ground or something. <laughs> there they Bye! Art and I are going out in the evening, and usually it's a date except, ah, we have Jordy with us. Well, I always say it's a date if we have fewer than two kids, but <laughs> uh, this one's a little older, so yeah. I don't know if that counts or not. We'll have to reassess if it's a date or not. The Emergency Squad's annual installation banquet is tonight, and because Charity is a junior member, she can attend with us. So this is her first, your, well, pretty much your first formal event, right? Other than Uncle B's wedding, when yeah. that, that was a couple years ago. So I gave her a crash course on the silverware settings and what fork to use when, so, and how to act and all that. But I'm sure Charity is going to. She'll do fine. She will do absolutely fine. Now, how come you look so nice and colorful and I look like I'm a white ghost? It's gotta be the funny camera. <laughs> I, I, told Char I told Art today, I actually feel old. You know, I used to be young, and I'd go on a date with my husband. Now I, I'm going on a date with my, including my daughter. Wow. Wow, seriously. I've been a member of the agency for 16 years. I can't believe it. And I, now you're a member. Yes. I think Charity should have brought John as her guest. John didn't want to. John refused. <laughs> I didn't even grow with five little kids. Ooh, no. Grandma and Grandpa are being really good sports about this. Because usually they have Charity to help, but Charity's not there. So we told John he had to step up to the plate, and he had to be extremely helpful and help with the little girls. And Charity helped get the little girls bathed, and we did their hair, and we got everybody situated. 
So all grandma has to do is plop them in front of the iPad for the evening. Well, they were finishing dinner. Then they can watch the iPad and then go to bed. So I think grandma can handle that. Give grandma a thumbs up because she is one amazing grandma. You may be wondering why we started with Aunt Laura getting ready to leave and then you didn't see anything until now. And that's because Art is working on stripping the last closet door for the girls' room. He got half of the second one done today, but that took, we figured it was almost two hours, right Art? Uh, I think it was a little over, over two, hours. two hours just to do a half a door to strip it and then I kept uh, doing all kinds of other things too in the meantime so the customer, it was a crazy busy yeah, day yeah one too. of our customers came over we got the house cleaned and tidied before grandma and grandpa because it's, it's awful to come home from a date and then find the house trashed and I did not get the lawn mowed which I needed to do and I also need to work on the brakes on the other van before I can drive it again uh, so that's why we're taking the Beast Bus with just three of us. Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? We are at our destination. It's the Hilton Garden Inn that we're going. And Art is just locating a yeah. parking spot for this Beast Bus. Art was backing in and Charity said, Oh, look at that, a Yamaha Music School. And I said, Oh, it's the Hellert Studio. That is my piano teacher. Although she didn't have a studio at the time. But this is, I went to her for my piano training. 